guys, today we're going to read Rainbow Magic, the storybook fairies. Marinia, the Goldilocks fairy, by Daisy Meadows. You can observe that there's a fairy over here. Using its nice wand to make some bows appear and nice things. You can find this in, uh, whoops, okay. Um, in Big Speed or Elementary, the library, if you're in first grade, you might find it somewhere. And I bought it. So, I'm gonna actually wanna go to a page. So they're going to show you a lot of this. This is your world. This is the Fairyland place. Fairyland library. The Three Bears Cottage. Island Hamelina's Cottage. Storybook World. Island of Pencil's Tower. Red Riding Hood's Grandmother's House. Red Riding Hood. Woods. Jack Frost's. Ice Castle, Storytelling Festival Set, Vetterbur Village. I'm gonna look around. The Fairy Love Place looks good. Library, the Three Bears. College has a lot of stuff. I don't think it looks like a forest almost. Close. Whoa, I do not like Jack Frost's ice castle. It looks a little bit weird. There's no ice on there. If you see any, any ice, tell me please. A puppet problems. I guess I'm not going to read the puppet problems. I'm going to read... Let me see. Yeah. Into the book world. The other children laughed as if Christy should have known. How could you think it was bears? Asked the boy sitting nearby. You are friend just told me that the that the story was Goldilocks. Yes, Goldilocks and the three bears. Christy agreed. Don't be silly, said the boy. Everyone knows that it's Goldilocks and the three goblins. The other kids nodded in agreement. It's our favorite story, the boy went on. I love how the three naughty goblins make such a mess in the cottage. That's not what happened, said Christy. Listen, sorry guys, I need to clean my
That's not what happened, said Christy. But no one except Rachel was listening to the girls shot each other's an annoyed look. They knew exactly what was going on. That morning, Rachel and Christy had met Ella, the Tumbelina fairy. She had whisked them to Fairyland where they had met the rest of storybook fairies. Mima, the Goldilocks fairies, Rosalie, the Rapunzel fairy, and the Ruth, the Red Riding Hood fairy. They were all upset. Jack Frost and the Goblins had stolen their magical objects. And his goblins had stolen their magical objects. And their stories were in danger of being ruined forever. Whoever held the magical, ob magical objects had the control of the stories. The fairies always, always used their magical their objects to make sure the stories went how they are so were supposed to. And ended well. But Jack Frost and the Goblins formed the stories to be all about them. So they were using the magical objects to go into the stories and change them. So here they are. From the children. I think it's on the page. The girls already had followed the goblins to, into the, the story of Thumbelina and helped the, her marry a flower prince, but there was still three more magical objects to find. I'm so happy that we were able to help Ella get her magic tongue ring back. And the goblins this morning, Christy whispered. But it looks like Myrna and the Goldilocks fairy will need our help too. Someone is inside the story right now changing the bears into goblins before the story starts. Would everyone like to come up to stage and look at the puppets and the props? Hania asked. The children sprang to their feet and hurried over to the puppet theater. I didn't want to look, have a, a closer look at the beautiful puppets, but Rachel and Christy held back and stood next to the props table. They looked at each other worried, worriedly, worriedly. What should we do? asked Rachel. It's obvious. That there were good goblins inside. The story of Goldilocks right now. How can we stop them? Christy bit her lips. A fairy nest in our locks could would take us to fairyland, but we wouldn't know where to find the storybook fairies. Besides, we need to get into the story of Goldilocks, and I don't think our fairy nest can do that. Don't you think? Our fairy dust can do that. The rested hand, her hand on the table, and accidentally knocked over one of the porridge bowls with a chatter. She picked up it, it up, and Marina, the Goldilocks fairy, fluttered from underneath it. Underneath it, she. She was wearing a blue dress, and her red shoes perfectly matched her bow. 
You have golden hair. Hi, I found you! Maria explained. I wasn't sure if I did able to get here. You get to get you away from the, the other children. Come quickly, we need you to find a place to hide so we can talk. This way, said Rachel, Dorothy behind the puppeteer. Christy followed with Amelia, fluttered at the, her side. The other children were still crowding around the puppet. So no one noticed the girls slipping out of sight when they were safely hidden. Behind the puppet theater, the girls looked up at Mania with encouraged smiles. We are so glad we are here, said Christy. Something must happen to the Goldilocks story. And we think that the goblins must have been inside it right now. They are, Mania said. That's that's what there was next. Because this one looks like a scary book. And it's in a story. Story book land, fairies. And it looks like they look happy. So it must be happily ending. I see the word puzzle fairy at the black. I see the uh, the Ryan Club fairy and the storybook fairy saw a little bit lighter. The fairy right over here. And a uh, cold fairy, I think so. so. I can see like a blue fairy. Don't know what that fairy is. I don't know the other fairy you need now. Confusing. Don't know the two fairies. Oh my god, I'm in the wrong page, guys. Let me move it to a page reader again. Mina, Christy, I would like to approach. Okay, actually, this one right next. Why am I here? Said they had have my. Why am I? Why I am here? They had my magic spoon, which means that they can change whatever they want. In the story, it's a disaster. I have to find a way to make a Goldilocks story go the right, the way it's supposed to. Yes, it should have three bears, but three goblins. Said Rich. Exactly, Marina agreed. Ellie. Ella told me how amazing this mo you were this morning. Helping her get the magical thumb ring back from the goblins. Do you think you might be able to find help to help me too? Of course we can, said Christy at once. We can't find Allow Jack Frost and his goblins to root best stories in the world. A smile spread across Marina's face, and she pulled a teeny tiny book. A book. A teeny book from her from her pocket. She held it out. The girl. The girls. To the girls, and they learned closer. The title was Rachel. 
written by teeny golden letters. Goldilocks. Maria opened the books. The writings were so small that Rachel and Christy couldn't read it. But Maria tapped the page with her wand and twisted it off. Golden sparkles spread. The twist grew bigger until it swept the girls up and they and all they could see was the glittery letter, the glittery of gold. They could hear and heard Maria's voice about the bush of the swirling fairy dust. The golden lock story needs magical repairs. We must stop the goblins and find the three bears together. I know we can f quickly succeed and the goblins will feel very foolish indeed. So they're getting charged. Now let's go to the next page. I wonder what's next. Oh, we were on the first page this whole time. Book World of Bears. Gasping, the girls landed in a pile of leaves. They looked around and saw that a little cottage in the woods. They could hear birds tweeting in the tree, branches and fluffy white clouds floating overhead. Come on, said Mira. We have to find out what's going there. Actually, let's go stop at the page where we just, um, the chapter two. That's okay, I read a little bit of it. So I'm gonna finish this one next time. And goodbye. One sec, I think so, Mr. Page. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, here. The two new ones it gave us. Maybe it set us to put it like that. And the, the first page will have our other one. And we will read the other page tomorrow. Goodbye. And subscribe to this video and give a big thumbs up.